What is going on today, guys? It is Step On a Gaming, and we're back with some game updates. And today on game updates, we have Rust. And with Rust has a new update for the UI system, and they have switched over to the Unity's UI system. It is not without problems, so they are trying to fix all the problems that they have, but it is a lot better than the previous versions. So what they fixed is the menu screen. They wanted to make the menu screen less useless, and they basically wanted to make it clean so you can use it and actually have functions. So you can see a tiny example of this now. So I'm going to put the picture on the screen. And this is basically what it looks like when you're using the server browser. So the server browser is a bit more comprehensive than the previous version. We have lists for LAN servers, favorites, and history. And you can add a server to your favorites by pressing the star next to its name. So Unity's UI is a bit slow at handling massive lists right now. They are looking into it to fix it. So it is, I have limited the server list to showing to the top 200 servers and I'll also be adding a filter and searching tools at the same point. So this is what the Rust developers are talking about. And they also have created a connection screen. So a new screen, the connection screen now shows the connection status. If you disconnect from a server, it will show you why. And if you press escape in game and come to the menu, you'll be able to use it to disconnect. So. I'm going to be posting pictures of all the screenshots as they have for these new updates so that way you guys can see them as well as me. So they also updated the death screen. So as you guys may know, when you died in Rust, it would show a screen, a little uh, little box of text, and it would say that there will be, you know, features coming soon. So they are really working on it right now. They said, um, you know, the left side is a bit empty right now, but the right side will change over the next few weeks. So they're going to have a couple big updates for that coming soon, which is really nice. Um, and what it's basically going to say is where you're going to respawn. So when you die, you will have a choice to name different sleeping bags and you could spawn at those different sleeping bags. But if you can't respawn in a sleeping bag because of the time delay, it'll show you how long until you can use that right of button. So it's, it's kind of interesting idea to put into the screen. Uh, they also have a sleep screen. So the sleeping screen is no longer has a wake up button. You can just press a button to wake up instead, which is a lot nicer because the wake up button would, you know, wouldn't work always. It would always have a problem. So that's nice that they fixed that. So now the inventory menu is full of full screen and frameless. This has a disadvantage for obscuring of all stuff that's happening in the background, but it's an advantage of not looking like shit. And it might be able to be a bit on larger resolutions. Next week, they'll be adding some scaling options. So you'll be able to make it smaller based on your preference. So that is really nice. You know, the UI was really bad looking before. And now they did a super nice job of it. And I think it looks really nice. So splitting has changed and is something you need to be taught. If you select a stack, you'll get a split widget. And what this basically does is you have to simply drag the bar to the amount that you want to take, then drag the icon to where you want to put it, but that's not all. Left mouse button dragging a stack drags the whole thing. Right mouse button dragging drags a single stack. And middle mouse button dragging drags half a stack. So it's a little complicated, but it is better than the previous system. So blueprints now have a, a an all category. They also show how many you have unlocked. You can scroll through the list by dragging it up and down. The items you can't craft because of a lack of resources are at the bottom and the rest are ordered by title. So they also did a couple of tweaks. So the tweaks window has been redesigned and has a few new options. It also shows the frame rate and has a frame rate graph along the bottoms. So this will make it easier to see if your changing settings has any performance benefits. So this is actually really nice. I really like the uh, the frame rate graph along the bottom. So, you know, if you raise the graphics, you'll see that it drops here and goes back up, which is kind of nice. And they also did a chat update. So chat now has Steam avatars and admin slash developer names are now a different color. Next week, I will have to add history that will fix the line at the bottom of all the avatars. So, you know, they're still working out all the bugs for this new, new UI, but it is looking a lot better and it's doing a really nice job. So the update for the vitals, nothing much has changed with the vitals, but some of them show a bit more accurate data. That's it. So nothing too crazy. So the randomized Radtown layouts, we are currently testing a system to particularly randomize Radtown and monument layouts based on the server seed. So they're doing a couple of bug fixes, fixes with Radtown and the anti cheat has been turned off for the last week while they debug and uh, people were actually randomly being kicked from servers, so it's back in arm now, so it's not, you know, unarmed, so you actually won't be kicked from the servers anymore. So that is basically it for this update. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you guys are enjoying the game update series. Do not forget to subscribe, and don't forget to check out all the other videos on my channel.